Electric SUVs have been making waves in the automotive industry, but what lies ahead for these eco-friendly vehicles? In this video, we will explore and uncover the exciting developments and innovations on the horizon. From extended driving, ranges to advanced features, what can we expect from the next generation of electric SUVs? The global market is growing at a compound annual growth rate of 21.7%, and this growth is anticipated to continue. It is expected that growth will increase from 8.1 million units to 39.21 million by the year 2030. This rapid increase is being driven by a number of issues, including concerns about the environment's impact. The prospects for electric vehicles. There is presently a growing selection of all electric vehicles available for purchase, and it is quite usual to see electric automobiles driving about on the roads. Those who rely heavily on diesel are seeing a loss in sales, especially when countries like the United Kingdom have set a deadline of 2030 to terminate sales in combustion autos and the electric impact is in full force. This has resulted in the sales of diesel-reliant businesses experiencing a decline. More substantial investments and the extension of charging infrastructure are helping to meet the demand for lower prices and a wider range of model options. Automobiles are propulsion electric and ride. Hybrid electric vehicles represent a remarkable fusion of traditional automotive technology with cutting-edge electric propulsion systems. These vehicles leverage a combination of electric motors, typically powered by advanced batteries, and internal combustion engines that rely on gasoline as a fuel source. The result is a sophisticated hybridization of conventional automobiles, delivering a blend of power, range, fuel efficiency, and reduced exhaust emissions. HEVs, in essence, embody the evolution of the automotive industry's response to environmental concerns and the growing need for energy efficiency. By seamlessly integrating electric and gasoline power sources, these vehicles aim to strike a balance between performance and sustainability. One of the defining features of HEVs is their ability to operate on both electric power and gasoline. At low speeds and during light driving conditions, HEVs primarily rely on electric propulsion, drawing energy from the onboard battery pack. This electric mode operation is exceptionally quiet and produces zero tailpipe emissions, making HEVs an attractive choice for environmentally conscious consumers. As the vehicle's speed increases or when more power is demanded, the internal combustion engine seamlessly kicks in to supplement the electric motor. This combined powertrain approach ensures that HEVs maintain the performance and range expectations of traditional vehicles while reaping the benefits of reduced gasoline consumption and lower exhaust emissions. The current market offers an extensive array of HEV models, catering to a wide range of consumer preferences and needs. These models come in various sizes, designs, and price ranges, allowing consumers to choose a vehicle that aligns with their specific requirements. From compact city cars to spacious SUVs, the hybrid vehicle market has evolved to accommodate diverse tastes and lifestyles. Battery technology is key. The performance of the battery is essential to the experience of driving an electric vehicle, from the driving range and charging time to the lifetime of the vehicle. Artificial intelligence has made it more feasible that recharging an electric vehicle in the time it takes to stop at a petrol station a reality. The amount of time needed to test batteries has been cut by 98% thanks to a machine learning algorithm created at Stanford. In the past, new battery technologies needed to be evaluated for a number of months or even years before their durability could be determined. Increasing competition drives down prices. Once the overall cost of having an electric vehicle is cheaper than the cost of owning a comparable gasoline-powered vehicle, a large number of individuals will switch to electric vehicles in order to save money. According to consumer reports, the price in the United States is already beyond that barrier. Nevertheless, Car and Driver asserts that federal tax credits play a substantial role in the overall equation. However, this is not nearly enough to satisfy the expected demand for electric vehicles. A shortage of charging infrastructure could limit the adoption of electric vehicles, which would halt the development of electric vehicles in the future. There are three distinct varieties of charging stations, Level 1, Level 2, and DC fast chargers. Level 1 charging stations are the most basic. The Level 1 chargers are the ones with the slowest rate. In the United States, they plug into a standard 120V AC outlet, 
in order to add between 2 and 5 miles of range for every hour spent charging. Level 2 chargers require an outlet capable of delivering 240 volts of alternating current and can provide between 10 and 60 miles of range for every hour spent charging. DZFCs have a voltage of 480 volts direct current and can add around 180 to 240 miles of range for every hour spent charging. At this time, over 80% of electric vehicle drivers in the United States charge their vehicles at home, often utilizing either Level 1 or Level 2 chargers. However, as the demand for electric vehicles develops, especially among people who do not live in single-family homes, the networks of public charging stations will require expansion, a charging expansion for the utility Shepard. The growth of electric vehicle chargers and the further development of electric vehicles will both require significant participation from utilities. Through its Charge Ready program, Southern California Edison assists commercial property owners and business owners in the installation of the necessary infrastructure and equipment for electric vehicle charging stations in multifamily buildings, public sector locations, and commercial establishments. This initiative offers several financial incentives, as well as support in the areas of infrastructure and technology. According to EV Connect, SCE's Charge Ready program has the goal of installing 50% of the chargers in communities that have been classified by the state as being economically challenged. Every municipality is going to require charging stations as the price of electric vehicles continues to drop. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.